everybody. It's Amy, and this is Sir Eric. We're at Harvard Alpaca Ranch this afternoon. I know everyone's been working really hard, staying home and taking care of each other. Uh, so we were looking for something to do this afternoon. Eric is a, a registered therapy animal with me. We're a team, a pet partners team. And um, he's missing going out to see all his people and his friends outside of the farm. So we thought we'd find some way to bring a little bit of, um, of a story time to you guys this afternoon. So we may be photobombed here by other alpacas, but we're going to do the best we can with just having Eric here without having too many people irritate him or too many alpacas irritate him. So today we're going to read this book called A is for Alpaca. It's written by Elena Stowell and Kelly Jarvis. And the illustrations are by Kent Barachefitz. Okay, you ready, Eric? So, let's see if I can do this with all my hands here. A is for alpacas. Alpacas are gentle and inquisitive animals bred for their luxurious fiber. B is for Bolivia. Alpacas come from three countries in South America, Bolivia, Chile, and Peru. C is for Kriya. A baby alpaca is called a cria. And D is for dam. The mommy alpaca is called a dam. Okay. E is for end products. Alpaca fiber can be used to make beautiful garments and blankets. F is for fiber. An alpaca is shorn once a year to obtain their raw fiber. Let's see what comes next, Eric. G is for genus. Similar animals are grouped together in the term genus. Three, there are four animals in the genus llamas. Llamas and alpacas are domestic or tame animals. This one's a llama, this is an alpaca, and then vicuñas and guanaco are considered wild animals. Here we go, Eric. This is all about you, buddy. H, whoops, it's a little windy out here. H is for wakaya. There are two types of alpacas. A wakaya alpaca has a teddy bear-like appearance. And the wakaya's fiber is crimped, which makes the hairs stand up straight from the skin. I is for investments. Owning an alpaca is an investment opportunity where many related expenses can be used as tax those of you who can't see him, the Lugalo is peeking in here right over my shoulder, right next to Eric. J is for judging. At alpaca shows, the animals are grouped by age, sex, and color. They are judged based upon their fiber and body conformation. K is for cush. Cushing is a relaxed position that alpacas will use when resting and chewing their cud. L is for luster and locks. Luster or sheen and tight pencil-like locks are characteristic exclusive to Surrey alpacas. M is for minerals. Mineral salts are important supplements for, for alpacas. N is for nutrition. Oh, it's really windy. N is for nutrition. An alpaca's diet is different from other livestock. 
proper nutrition is vital to their health and fiber qualities. O is for orchard grass. Orchard grass is a mixture of various scratches, which is the main forage for alpacas. P is for pronking. Pronking is when alpacas run, jump, and play in the field. Q is for Quechua. The Quechuan people live in the Altiplano of South America. They were the ancestral keepers of the alpacas. R is for registration. An alpaca can be registered nationally based upon their DNA. Each registered alpaca is assigned their own number. Ribbons. Ribbons are worn for both halt, are won for both halter and fiber class competitions. And ruminant. Ruminants have extra stomachs that help them digest the rough grass that they eat. is for Surrey. A Surrey is characterized by its long pencil locks and a shimmery lux lustrous fiber. T is for transport. Alpacas can be safely transported in a variety of vehicles such as trailers and vans. Alpaca looks like he's on a skateboard. Ours don't ride on any trailers like that. Ours ride in a big trailer or in our minivan. U is for ultrasound. An ultrasound uses sound waves to confirm pregnancy in bred alpacas. V is for vicuña. A vicuña is related to the alpaca. They are smaller in size have light, long colored fiber. Vicuñas are native to South America and are considered wild animals. In Peru, they are captured every two years in Roundup and shorn. After shearing, they are released back into the wild. W is for weaning. Weaning is when the dam and crea are separated. The crea begins to eat only grass. Weaning usually occurs between five and six months of age. You guys could see my vantage point. Alpacas are eggs. They're exciting, extraordinary, excellent, exceptional, and expressive. Y is for yearling. After an alpaca's first birthday, they are referred to as a yearling. Z is for a sleeping alpaca. Here are some fun alpaca facts that we're gonna share also. There are over 7,000 members of the Alpacas Breeders and Owners Association. Currently, there are about 70,000 alpacas that reside in the United States. The average alpaca weighs about 150 pounds. Alpaca fiber is absent of guard hairs, making it soft and comfortable to wear against the skin. There are only six teeth on an alpaca's lower jaw and none on the top jaw. They do, not, they do have molars to chew their cud. Cleanup after an alpaca is usually a breeze since they generally deposit their waste in one area. Are soft padded and have only two toes. A lifespan of an alpaca can be over 20 years when given the proper nutrition and care. 
alpacas can hum and will chirp a warning call when startled or when danger is near. Peru is the largest exporter of alpaca products and China is the largest importer of alpaca fiber. That's A is for alpaca. And since we're live, we're going to ask you guys if you have any questions that you might want to ask after hearing the story and seeing, um, hearing a little bit about the alpacas. So I'm just looking at my phone here a little bit too so that I can see if you have any questions that you want answered by us. In the meantime, this is Nacho. Hello, Nacho. You guys met Sir Eric, and this is Little Regalo in the background here. Um, then you can see the girls are over there behind me. Just want to shout out to everybody who's commented so far. Robin Cervic. Robin Cervic. And her kids. And all of her kids. Melissa, would Julie from Lowell would like to know what they eat. Hey, Julie from Lowell would like to know what alpacas eat. So alpacas eat grass, they eat hay, and they get a special alpaca blend of, um, of pellet food in the morning. We lay out a bowl for each alpaca so they can get the extra nutrients from that that they need that they're not getting from the hay and grass. Ours have been on hay all winter. They're waiting to let us, for us to let them out into their pastures. The grass is turning green, but it hasn't really grown very much yet. Robin's daughter would like to know what it's like to have alpacas. Hmm, what is it like to have alpacas? So you can see they're kind of fun to have around. They're a little unpredictable, but they're very curious animals. We are very happy having them. We just had our fourth anniversary last week. So we've had animals on our property now for four years. It's very much an adventure. They teach us something new every day. And we are really proud of the herd that we have. They're really nice. They have some fun personalities. Sometimes they get into trouble with each other and annoy each other just like siblings do. But for the most part, it's been a great adventure owning alpacas. Do you have any Korea on the farm? So we still do have one animal that's considered Korea. Um, that would be Miss Liberty Bell. She was born last year on the 4th of July to our Isabella. So Liberty Bell is a beautiful light rose gray um, alpaca with a white spot on her nose. And she'll be a Korea up until the time she turns one year old. She has been weaned from her mommy, just like we learned about in the book. And she's back with the rest of the herd and mom is back with her and she's growing quite a bit. So she's getting big and strong, just like the rest of our alpacas. Liz would like to know how many do you have? So we currently at Harvard Alpaca Ranch have 21 alpacas here. We have seven boys and we have 14 girls. And in about another month or so, we have two more girls coming to live with us. They are in Maryland right now. And one of those um, alpacas is pregnant. And so we'll be expecting another career here on our farm in September. If there's any other questions, why don't you shoot them over? Otherwise, we're gonna um, take a little walk over to see the girls and I wanna thank everybody for joining us here for story time today. I hope everything's good and well. Stay safe and healthy. We miss you.